Hello! Today we are working on creating a Matisse-like cutout. And for those of you that are at school and don't have construction paper, I'm going to do it um, using my sheets of paper in my sketchbook. So I have covered one piece of paper completely with my markers. I am going to do two more. And um, then I will cut up the two extra and put it on my background. This is, I'm gonna use this as my background. If you're at home and you have construction paper, like lots of different um, colors, you can use those as your cutouts. You can cut big blocks and glue them on as your background. But um, there's lots of different ways you can do this. And I'm excited to get started. So first step, um, that's going to take a while is we are going to create these three pages of color such that, that we that can then cut it out. Okay, so here I am painting my second piece of paper that I'm going to then ultimately let dry and cut out. But one tip that I would recommend, and this is a little bit tricky though, so take your paintbrush and paint the one section that you want the whole color in in just the layer of water. I think you can see that my paper is a little bit wet right here. This is tricky because you don't want to soak the paper because our paper is not watercolor paper, so it can get too wet. But if you do a layer of water, it'll make on your paper before you get the paper, the paint on your paintbrush, it's going to allow the color to transfer on a larger section easy, more easily. So I'm able to get that green paint everywhere because I already have some water on my paper. And so it's spreading out a whole lot easier. So this is going to be one sheet of paper that is now covered in color that I can then cut out to be more like our Matisse cutouts. And as you already heard in the video about Matisse, is his cutouts were actually of painted paper. So this is more authentic to the way he did his cutouts and it'll make our cutouts look more interesting with the brush strokes and the different areas of paint and the different um, saturation amounts. So since my background had lots of warm colors, I did mostly cool colors. I did green and blue. And then you can see I did this ombre like sunset effect here. So now I have to wait for these to dry and then we'll start our cutouts. Hello, so I'm back. I have my three pages of complete color. So I filled, this is my background sheet. I used my markers to fill up the whole page. And then I have two additional sheets of paper that I've completely filled in with paper, uh, with color. Obviously this was watercolors. We talked about doing the extra layer of water. So that take a, takes a second to dry. And then I did another marker piece. So now this is the fun part. This is the cutting up part. I also have this sheet of a little scrap of black construction paper that I think I'll use. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to cut up these two pieces of paper in organic shapes and geometric shapes. So geometric shapes being very perfect, sort of math oriented, and organic shapes being those found in nature that have different lines. Um, and obviously Matisse was really big into all of these organic shapes. It looks like seaweed or plants. So I am going to make life a little bit easier. I'm going to cut along the colors and it'll also be easier for me to cut small shapes with smaller pieces of paper. But I really like that organic seaweed shape and I was hoping to do some of that here. So I'm going to fold this in half and that's going to make cutting this out a whole lot easier and I'm going to cut some of that famous seaweed shape out. 
so this will be symmetrical, right? Because it'll be the same on each side. I'm gonna go all the way up because I'm pretty excited about the way the color changes. And instead of having just one cutout, this is actually gonna make two cutouts and I'll show you what I mean by that. Oops. All right, moment of truth. I'm gonna open it up. Ooh, that is awesome looking. Oh, I'm really excited about it. I actually like it on the blue. But I have that here. And then this is, so that is my first shape, right? But then remember how I cut it out? Look, I have another shape. So I can use both of those things. Both of those pieces of paper. Oh, that looks neat too. So now I, I still like, I still like that, the cool colors on top of the warm colors. So now, this is when I need a bigger sheet of paper. This is gonna be too much fun. So now, those, are, those on the instructions, you'll notice I say, please have at least three organic shapes and three geometric shapes. So same thing with this piece of paper. I'm going to divide it according to sort of the pattern I have. And for these guys, I'm going to have rectangles. They look like squares because they had stripes in them. Now, I think I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with this. That's fun. I like that. So I am going to continue cutting and I think with all of these pieces of paper, I might actually get to get two pieces of art out of all of this. I don't think it's going to be able to be contained into one piece of art. So that's exciting. Guys, I'm so excited. So I actually took my background that you guys saw earlier and I cut it up. So this was the edge of all of the different corresponding pieces. Um, I cut it up because I wanted some negative space and more white space on my collage. And what I mean by negative space is when I cut this out right here, to make this, this is the negative space of that shape. So that's the absence of the shape is negative space. So when I cut my spiral, this negative space I think is really cool looking. When I cut out my circles, I really liked those two and this as well. So I'm incorporating those different elements into my collage. I think it will probably end up, I mean, look at my desk, it's a disaster. This is so fun. So I'll probably end up with two or three pieces, maybe four collages that I'm pretty excited about. This is the first one I've been working on. Um, I started with um, these three, these four big pieces, and then I decided I wanted some cooler colors to balance the warmer colors that I have. So I slipped in the blue square and um, I'm also doing a little bit of a border effect that Matisse does on his things. So remember when you're putting together your composition, you want balance. You want balance in the way of not everything grouped up or if it is all grouped up, then it slowly disperses. So you have a little bit of movement there from one side of the paper over to the other. 
um, balance as far as color goes and scheme, balance as far as types of shape. Um, you can add pattern. My stripes here help with the pattern element. Um, so work towards, you know, once you figure out your first arrangement, see if adding or taking away helps. And then um, glue it and send it to me on Flipgrid. I can't wait. I have lots of fun doing this. I hope you do too.